Hello great people, welcome back to Global Health Things. Today we're so excited to have you again. So a few minutes ago we gave you an update on what happened in the River State PDP Secretariat where the governor of River State accused House of Representative member who is also currently vying for the position of governor, I'm talking about Farah Dagogo of uh, organizing talks to destabilize activities in the PDP secretariat and demanded that he should be arrested. Dagogo came back to tell Nigerians that he does not know anything about it and in event of anything happening to him, that Nigerians should please, uh, Nigerians and the public should please hold Governor Wiki responsible for it. Now, today was actually screening in PDP um, River State for the position of governors. And, um, you know, with that, he had to go there. But something had happened, which we are here to give you full details about it. But before we do that, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please do uh, hit on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get a notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, the House of Representative member and uh, River State 2023 governorship aspirant Farah Dagogo declared wanted on Wednesday by Governor Yesom Wiki was on Thursday arrested by armed security operative at Port Harcourt. Dagogo was arrested at the South South Zonal Secretariat of the People's Democratic Party PDP, where he appeared among other South South governorship aspirant for screening ahead of the party's primary. Hmm. Dagogo member represent Representative Digima Boni Federal Constituency had shown up past 6 p.m. at the hall where the Bayelsa State Governor Duye Diri Chair Screening Committee was on duty when armed men swooped on him. Moments later, the lawmaker, the most vo- voiceful of Rivers 2023 governorship aspirants so far, was escorted out by heavily armed security operatives who whisked him off in a patrol van label operation C4I 027. Governor Wiki had, in a statement by his media aide Kelvin Ebiri, accused Dagogo of masterminding cultists disturbing disturbances at the screening of River State National and State Assembly aspirant Wednesday in Port Harcourt. The embattled lawmaker had in a swift response denied accusation, counter-accusing, counter-accusing Wiki of deliberately giving him a bad name to deny him Thursday screening for the state governorship where he was arrested. Relati- relatedly, a magistrate court sitting in Port Harcourt same Thursday reprimanded 15 persons to a correctional center for unlawful gathering connected with the alleged disturbance at the River PDP Secretariat over which Dagogo has also been accused. Meanwhile, the South-South Governorship Aspirant screening opened in Port Harcourt under tight security with committee chairman and by our state governor Duye Diri Shoring of a transparent process. Though aspirants started arriving the South South PDP zonal office venue as early as about 9 a.m., screening didn't start with Cross River State aspirant till about 2 p.m. Some of the aspirants who arrived early include Secretary to the River State Government, Dr. Tami Danagogo, Senator Lee Moeba, Honorable Honor Duke, Leon Serving Delta Senator, James Manager, and last arrival rep member Dagogo, who was arrested as well as Umoino, amongst others. During on a note of caution, told the aspirants that as senior citizens of the party, state, and country at large, they were expected to comport themselves during the screening. The report advised the aspirant to do all they could and stay away from any act capable of bringing the name of PDP into disrepute. Hmm. This is a uh, quite um, a serious one, not just serious, is a, a terrible one. Now, you know, before now, these same guys that Google, uh, most Nigerians have, especially those in River State, 
have been holding these assumptions that he may likely be a perfect um, successor of Governor Wiki. You understand? And um, a group known as a Youth Mandate, where the first person who came out and said, Honorable Farah Dagogo has all the credentials to succeed Governor Yesam Wiki as the governor of, you know, River State. And uh, with that in mind, they had to, like, uh, you know, buy the material form for him because of all his, his capability and his uh, credibility, according to them. But unfortunately, what had happened is a pointer to the fact that the man may not, I don't know, yeah, he may not be part of the governorship uh, we may not be part of uh, the direct primary or indirect primaries that will be holding for governors in uh, River State, being that he has not been screened. Because uh, according to the information we have gathered thus far, he has n he never returned back, you know, to the state center to join others in the screening. But I don't know if there's going to schedule another date for him to be screened. But based on what I have seen thus far, I don't think we can allow such to happen. And, uh, you know, before Nana had suggested that uh, for now, whether we like it or not, Governor Wiki is still the boss of PDP in River State and is also the governor of PDP in River State. So, excuse me, the ideal thing would have been for him to go back to the governor and plead, you know, and beg, you know, uh, seeking for him to grant him understanding that whatever that had happened, he's going to come back to give him adequate explanation, you know. But with what has just happened now, he has been stripped of that opportunity. I know that that case will not go far in as much as he has not been allowed to, you know, feature in the primaries. Uh, Governor Wiki is good to go, you know, and all of that. But, you know, I, I one begins to wonder how true it is that he was involved in that, you know, cultism activity, that he was actually the one who brought in those uh, cult guys to do what they just did. But most people are saying that it's because the man has refused to give understanding to the fact that uh, Wiki is actually the boss and he has to run the whole show according to the details of Wiki. But be that as it may, it's important to note that um, for you to win an election, you must bring in someone who is totally being accepted by the people, someone who has a very good track record, someone who is loved by the people, because uh, that's the only way that you can make your chances, you know, at least um, reasonable. But if you bring in someone that the people do not like, and they, at the end of the day, they will shock you. Don't forget that if there's any place that the APC are really targeting in this upcoming election, it's actually River State, because ever since Amechi left, PDP has taken over the state via the instrumentation of, uh, you know, in some weekend. So right now, whatever it takes for them to ensure they distract PDP enough that at the end of the day, they won't carry the day, they will do it. You know, whether we like it, whether Wiki likes it or not, we know that uh, 29th of May, he will be off the seat. And uh, if things are not done are right, uh, PDP may be stripped of that state, but I know that he's a, a, a tough guy and wouldn't want that to happen. However, we'll keep you fully updated as the issue of Dagogo keep coming up. That's